Well, good day to you. It is March the 28th, and I hope wherever you are, you're having a great March the 28th. My name is Gary Willing, and as always, I want to welcome everyone to Search for Signs. And quickly point out if you're new, and remind you if you've heard these videos before, that the best thing you can do if you have any questions, or you want to know more about who and what Maitreya is, what he means for humanity, or even if you want to see if there's any truth to this, is to educate yourself better by going to some of the websites that I've provided links for in the description portion of every one of these videos. The information is there for you if and whenever you want to look into it, and it's free. So all you have to do is just spend a little bit of your time and check it out. Hopefully at some point you will. Now, if you want to join the discussion, you can post your comments. You can post your questions in the comments section. You can even email me at searchforsigns.mil.com or reach out to me through Facebook. So I just want to say this. This, I just discovered this today, is the 600th time I put a video up. And when I started back in February of 2019, I never imagined in a million years that I would find something to say <laughs> enough to record 600 videos about. But this topic about my trade and the Masters of Wisdom, is very, I'm very passionate about. But irregardless of that, I don't think I could have ever done it any more than maybe five or six videos if it wasn't for you guys. So when I started putting these videos up, I wasn't getting a lot of hits, no comments, no views, nothing. And then all of a sudden I got a comment that kind of kicked it all off. And it was, you're a real piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and ever since then, it's just gotten better and better and better. <laughs> it couldn't have gotten much worse, that's for sure. But then a question came my way, and I tried to answer it in the next the video after that, and it all kind of kicked off from there. And since then, I've gotten thousands upon thousands of comments and hundreds upon hundreds of questions that have built this channel up to where we are today, and yada, 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 600 uh, videos later, well, we're still at it. And I, like I said, could not have done it without you guys, and I really appreciate it and thank every one of you who have asked questions and posted comments. So let's keep them coming. You know, I know myself, I learn a lot by you guys posting your comments and asking questions and so forth. And hopefully you guys do as well. Now, um, I also will from time to time read one of Benjamin Crumb's master's articles. And I'm going to read one today. It's my favorite. Uh, I figure since this is the uh, 600th time I put a video up, I might as well read it again. I've done it a few times in the past. Uh, it's entitled The Son of Man. And really, to be honest with you, if you want to know who and what Maitreya is and find the best way to do it, read one of Benjamin Crumb's master's articles. I mean, I cannot stress that enough. You know, the way this master writes, <clears throat> it's so simple, but yet gives a very clear picture of who and what Maitreya is, what he means for humanity and those kind of things. But also it gives a little window into the wisdom of these masters and a little peek into how they're going to be teaching humanity better than you can until these masters are out known for who they are and we see them in our everyday life like we will in the very near future. But up until that point, I think this is the best way to do it. So if you go into the description portion of these videos, there's a uh, link to the Share International site and you can read these articles for yourself. Hopefully you'll find this one, The Son of Man, because this one explains who and what Maitreya is and what he means for humanity better than anything that I've ever read. The Son of Man by Benjamin Krem's Master. Many people await the return of the Christ with trepidation and fear. They sense that his appearance will promote great changes in all departments of life. His values, they rightly assume, will necessarily alter their ways of thinking and living, and they blanch at such a prospect. Besides, so mystical has been the view of the Christ presented down the centuries by the churches that many fear his judgment and omnipotent power. They await him as God come to punish the wicked and reward the faithful. It is sadly to be regretted that such a distorted vision of the Christ should so have permeated human consciousness. No such being exists. In order to understand the true nature of the Christ, it is necessary to see him as one among equal sons of God each endowed with full divine potential, differing only in the degree of manifestation of that divinity. 
that he has achieved the fullness of that divinity is his glory. And well may we stand in reverence at this achievement. That this same achievement is rare indeed is also indisputably true. But this, the wonder of the Christ for men is that he was one of them. Not there is in the trials and sufferings of men, but he did know it. Each step of the path that man still tread has he painfully trodden. Nothing is there in the whole panorama of human experience that he has not shared. Thus truly is he the Son of Man. There can be little doubt that were he to appear unannounced in our midst, few would recognize him. So far from the general notion is he, he would pass unnoticed in the crowd. That thus it is today among his brothers as he awaits man's invitation to begin his mission. Many who see him daily know him not. Others recognize him but are afraid to speak. Still others wait and pray, hopeful that he may be the one for whom they dare not hope. Only his declaration before the world will establish him in the sight and hearts of men. While we await that day of days, let us clarify in our minds the reason for his return. Let us understand the nature of the task which he has set himself. To establish in our midst the fact of God has he come. To recreate the divine mysteries is he here. To teach men how to love and love again is he among us. To establish man's brotherhood does he walk the earth once more. To keep faith with the Father and with man does he accept this burden. To usher in the new age has he returned. To consolidate the treasures of the past, to inspire the marvels of the future, to glorify God and man has he descended from his high mountain. Let us look at his priorities, the establishment of peace, the inauguration of the system of sharing, the removal of guilt and fear, the cleansing of the hearts and minds of, of men, the education of mankind of, into the laws of life and love, introduction to the mysteries, the beautification of our cities, the removal of barriers to travel and interchange of peoples, the creation of a pool of knowledge accessible to all. That such a task is not an easy one, not even for the Son of Man, is clear. Ancient habits of division and separation have strong roots, while fear and superstition cast their spell over millions of mankind. But never before in the history of the world has a teacher come better equipped for his task. Maitreya has come to do battle with ignorance and fear, division and want. His weapons are spiritual understanding knowledge and love. His shining armor is truth itself. Remember to take action and help SOP save our planet. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to talking to you again in future videos.